G'day guys and welcome to another section of Cisco practice questions and today I'll be going through basic configuration so this will just be uh, commands on the iOS and it should be a pretty interesting little class today pretty much it'll be a lot of uh, it is what it is there's not a whole lot of explanation as to why certain things are the way they are more so that, that's just uh, that, that is what they are so um, I've also got my Cisco resource in the description below. It's actually Amazon's, but feel free to click through to that one and uh, give that a buy. That's uh, an amazing little product. Very good for getting you, uh, well, I guess, in good stead for the exams. But we'll get into the questions. 173, which of the following commands would you use to change the hostname on the router? So we've got here in the basic command section, we've got hostname R1. We're then in configuration interface mode and also in privilege exec mode and also we've got a global configuration mode so the right mode you're not going to be in the interface i doubt you'd be in that i'm going to go with d and you have to be in global configuration mode in order to make any changes to the router name question 174 which the following password types are encrypted in the configuration by default the answer quite here, there's plenty of enables. Uh, by default, it is enable secret, which is the answer C. On 275, you are at the following prompt. What command would you use first to change the name of the router? So we're currently in the interface com configuration mode for an interface. So initially you go host name, but, but if you really look at it, we're in interface configuration mode, which if we remember, it's in global configuration mode. So we have to go exit first to actually make a change to the name. So that's the answer for 175. 176, nice small writing here, big question. Which of the following command sets would you use to configure a password on the console port of the router? So looking through these answers here, on the console port of the router so anything that doesn't resemble console we can probably take out uh, that's just a password set to that uh, b and c have line con and d has a bit of terminal about it but if we have a look here in the b and c area configure the terminal after we enable to go into the uh, global configuration mode or privilege exec mode i should say and then line con zero, first line technically. And then we have the password and also the login prompt, which means you need to log in each time you're trying to get into the console port. So the answer for this one is B. So as I said, you've got to enable to go into privilege exec mode, configure the terminal, type in that command, go on to the first line of the console, type in the password you want to set the console port at, and log in so then each time it'll come up with that login prompt to get onto that console port. Hopefully that made sense. 177, you are looking to create a username for Tom to log onto the router. What command would you use? So this area here is more so simply knowing the terminology, the syntax I should say. So we're in config, uh, global config mode, privilege exec mode, normal mode if you like, and interface is not, not, not an interface so you can basically wipe that one clean and quite simply it is a so in global configuration mode it seems like a big change at the back end so that'll be why uh, that will be the answer Just simply typing in username then the actual username there what the password uh, then type in password and what your actual password is so it's pretty simple to follow there 178 you wish to view a list of commands recently used on the router what command would you use so it would show history, show commands, show all, show my commands. And looking through the answers here, you'd have to go with show history. And that is just the default command that uh, shows the previous commands. Moving along to 179, you would like to encrypt all passwords configured on the router. What command would you use? So we've got enable password encryption, service password encryption, encrypt passwords all, encrypt passwords. And this is a service, so we go service password encryption. We're on 180, you have made changes to your Cisco router and would like to verify the changes before saving them. What command would you use? Show startup config, show memory, show running config, show flash. And because we made recent changes, they will be in volatile memory. So therefore, 
show memory isn't too relevant, show flash is more so for flash settings. So we're going to show startup config and show running config. We've just made changes and want to know if they've gone through. Startup config is obviously at the start of the, at, um, the start of the router booting up. So we want to go see show running config because the change has been made to the show running con uh, the running configuration. And then when you're done at the end, you need to save those changes and that will then go to the startup config if you are doing that. 181, you are administering a Cisco router. When you have a typo in the command name, you have to wait for the router to do a DNS lookup before getting control of the console again. An annoying problem, for sure. What command would fix it? So we've got disable DNS, no IP domain lookup, IP domain lookup, no DNS lookup. When you're making changes to any interfaces and you don't want this DNS lookup uh, happening, you type in what would say B, no IP domain lookup, and that will essentially disable that function, the annoying function just there mentioned in the question. 182, you would like the console to time out after a minute and 45 seconds of inactivity. What command would you use? So we've got exec timeout, and we've got a little bit of a time clock on the second one. No exec timeout, 145, and basically the same for D as well. For this one, you don't need the semicolon, so that already wipes, uh, sorry, the uh, the actual colon, so that wipes out two already. We've got no exec timeout and then exec timeout. We wanted the timeout, so A will be the answer. 183, what command can be used to modify the history size on the Cisco router? And we have a look below here, there's two that are in privileged exec mode, two that are also in global configuration mode, so can't really deduct it easily by any chance. Um, We've got to define what is actually happening though, so history size is just too small. Um, so for the terminal, we've got a, it's quite simply, it's in privileged exec mode, which would make A the answer. And just a bit of a reminder, privileged exec mode is when the hash is next to the router name. Global configuration mode is when you've got configuration or config there and then the hash. And uh, that is how you tell those two. So terminal history size 30 is the answer for 183. And moving along to 184, after creating a user named Bob, you would like to ensure that the password uh, con console port prompts for the username and password. What command would you use? So we've got config line, so the, the mode it's in is fine, configuration of a line. And console port, that's a key, key point there, so that's locally connecting to the router by physical port. So Initially, I was thinking of login. That would be if it wasn't that local. The answer is C, login local, simply because he's a local user on the router and needs console port for access. We'll need to use that local on the end of that. 185, which of the following banner types is the first to be displayed? This is simply knowing it, and we've got login, MOTD, exec, and log out. So this would obviously be when starting up a router, I dare say. Answer is B, message of the day, which is what MOTD stands for, comes up first. 186, you would like to delete the configuration on your router and start with a clean configuration. Which two commands would you use? Select two. Obviously, we've got to pick two. So we have delete start config, reload, restart, erase start config, format router. So it could be probably any one of these in any particular order. I guess it's a matter of knowing the uh, commands, so format router isn't really a renowned command if it's probably not usable at all. And don't say delete very often on the Cisco, so we can wipe that one away. And we tend to not say restart uh, with Cisco, we say reload. So that leaves us with array start config and reload, B and D. But you do it the other way around, of course. You don't want to, re <laughs> you got to erase it first and then restart it. And that will do that for you. And that's it, guys. So thanks heaps for watching on. I really appreciate you joining in. And uh, we've got my website just down there, onlinecomputercoaching.com, which will have some podcasts and plenty of other fancy content on there. And it would be muchly appreciated if you go through that. Also got a Cisco resource uh, in the description below, as I mentioned off the top of the video. It's an amazing guide uh, for Cisco and preparing for your exam. So if you buy that, you'll be investing in yourself. And that's certainly an investment well well worth it and also get a commission as well. So that'd be muchly appreciated uh, and I would love that. Thanks again for hanging around guys. Feel free to subscribe for more videos. That would be amazing. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.